So let me talk a little bit about like what, how can you impact that experience curve? Because I think one of the things that we have changed with this is that we uh, will migrate all the perso persona actions and quotes um, that were two types of lanes, two types of cars uh, previously within uh, the journey. We will migrate that to these new types of insights. Um, and the reasoning for that is because all the insights might actually have an have an impact on the on the experience lane. And obviously, as you have probably already uncovered, um, these insights are a lot more powerful than the relatively simple cards that were just text cards in the journey previously. Um, yeah, compared to them, you can do a lot more with insights. Um, we're looking here at the coins are often forgotten pain. Um, I've added all the different properties that you can add to this. But what I want to highlight here is the experience impact. So the experience impact is really what defines what the curve is for the user. Um, so your end customer um, is as defined as a persona. This stays exactly the same as we had before. But now with all the panes added in a certain step that are connected to a specific persona, you can impact the experience curve. So for example, if we say this pain is actually much more problematic for customers, uh, we can put it at minus two. And you see that both of these personas that are related to here actually have a worse experience during this step. Um, and that is really how we now uh, yeah, work with the experience curve to make sure that everything that happens in such a step automatically adds um, to the way you, the, the, the persona experiences it. Um, and that is basically the, the main connection between persona and insight. So every insight can be linked to a persona to really see like, oh, this is the type of persona that actually is experiencing this. Um, and well, you can have one insight also linked to multiple personas. 